This time we want to look again at a very special battle sword. Special not because of the hilt shape, but because of a small detail on the hilt. But more about that in a moment. Basically this pretzel shape hilt was widely used in the early and middle and even until the late 16th century in the Holy Roman Empire among the mercenary troops, also known as Landsknechte. Around 600 a different form of hilt became more and more popular. The best known of these is the so-called Munich style, but there were also similar ones in the north of Germany, the Brunswick style and many others. Some of these were produced in large quantities and can still be found today in many armories. Overall, battle swords were used just like halberds, pole axes and feather spears as relief and guard weapons to support the pikeman in different ways. But I do not want to go into a more detailed explanation about the use of such weapons here and refer this point to an article I wrote some time ago about this topic. But again back to the earlier form, the battle sword with the pretzel guard. But what is special about this particular blade? It's the thumb ring. This is also found on many originals, although it is not the rule. The ring does not interfere as long as the wearer holds the sword in a hammer grip. In fact, it helps prevent the weapon from being released and increased control enormously during powerful swings. And by the way, I doubt that the ring has any protective function. To be hit behind the hilt at this point is almost impossible anyway. Also, I cannot say that the ring restricts my other handling in any way. The thumb can be released easily. You can twist and turn the handle, grip it different and much more. It is actually a pure bonus in the end. And overall this masterpiece is magnificently crafted. Despite its immense size it is easy to wield and cut through the air with ease. Especially in the half sword, the blade or its tip can be brought effortlessly into the target. Yeah, and what can I say also about it? Mm. It is also very nicely balanced. Can be moved much easier through the air than my monstrous Munich style Flamberger sword, which you can find in another video. If you want, I can give you the link to this specific video in the description here. And of course, such a blade can't be used like a longsword. It is just too big for that. But let's not forget what it was or what was it made for? It was a military weapon for use in the field, although it must be said that it also has symbolic properties. And nevertheless, for me, such large swords always represent the machine gun of the Renaissance. <laughs> and even if the comparison is somewhat difficult. The nice thing of this weapon is that you can use it with big round movements, but also like a pole weapon in close formation, so it's very versatile. Okay, I hope you like the little guy. What do you think about battle swords? Write me a comment and thanks for watching. See you next time.